How to create a journal to sell into KDP totally for free in this step-by-step -step tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how we can do this. Welcome to TechPress. My name is Steven and I'm gonna be showing you guys how we can do this in a very easy way. The very first thing we want to do is to create an account. I'm gonna be showing you how to get started with the Kindle Direct Publishing. I'm gonna be showing you how can we make a designer totally for free in a really basic way of how we can do this using a great application called Canva which is totally for free once again. So all of the elements I'm gonna be showing you into this tutorial I'm going to be totally for free. So with that being said, let's just jump into it. The very first thing you want to do is to have two tabs opened. Number one is Canva.com. You want to create an account totally for free once again. You have to write an email as well as a passcode and then you're actually good to go. If you already have an Amazon account, which I think you, most of you might be uh, already have, you just need to go into kdp.amazon.com and if you don't have that, you can look in and of course create an account really, really easy into Kindle Direct Pop. Publishing. So what I want to do is to hit into sign in with your Amazon account. I'm going to hit where it says sign in. As you can see, I'm already here into the create, manage and publish section. Sometimes this might be taking you into your account section. So what you want to do first of all is to sign into your own account. And in here, as you can see, we have the author publisher information. So as you can see, this one is blurred, but here you might see that you have to fill your business type, your date of birth, your country, region, legal name, and everything. And if you scroll a little bit down, what you want to do in order to get paid is to provide your bank information to receive electronic royalty payments. So all is going to be already been set up. With that being said, now what we can do is to go into the section of the Kindle Direct Publishing dashboard so we can just get started. Now, as you can see, I'm already here into Kindle Direct Publishing. I have a bookshelf here. And as you can see, this is the actual price where you can start selling your stuff. This is the actual paperback, the hardcover, or we can create a Kindle ebook. We can do three of them and the three options are totally for free. So in order to get started, what I want to do now that I have both tabs already been opened and like this, is to focus into this yellow section where it says create. So I'm going to focus in, in here. And what I want to do is to get started. Let's say that I want to create a journal. Um, this is actually a Kindle ebook. So you want to choose the option that says Kindle ebook. And then we do have here the language, the book title, the series, edition number, author, contributors, and the description. So what you want to do before you fill all of that, if you are not ready to get started, what I can strongly suggest to is to figure out what kind of journal you want to create. So first of all, if I go back, I'm going to go a little bit back before I hit into create an account. Focus in here is says create a book book timelines, free ESBN, and tools and resources. If I click resist tools and resources, it's going to be sending me a new section, a new block, where I'm going to be seeing what is the actual um, file format that I need to create in order to have, of course, a Kindle uh, KDP in order to sell that. So if, if I want to sell, let's say, for example, an ebook, it says the tool you choose depends on your book and file format. So here, if I typed in to create a book, I type into print options, I now find the trim size. So as you can see, the most common trim size for books in the US is six by nine. And when setting up your book, we have all of these options. So what I want to do is to copy this element six by nine and create my very first book into Canva. So let's go back into Canva. Let's go into create a day side and let's go for custom size, which is down in here. Now let's type the section which says pixels and type from n and here i want to change from six and nine and just and here to create a new design so it's going to be popping out this new editor where it can start to work with my actual uh journal so if you don't know how to get started if you don't uh let's say for example like to create it to get started with journal you have to worry about that because canva has a template that we can use totally for free so you don't want to just copy and paste but you want to take a template and make it yours so let's focus into the left part where it says show the templates and i want to type a journal if I type my journal, I'm going to see that there's an actual lot of stuff that I can use totally for free to get started with my journal and I can make it my own. For example, let's say that I'm interested in this one. So I click in here and as you can see, here's my actual journal already been imported. And what I just need to do is to change the elements that I think is going to be really interesting for me or not. For example, here into my journal, let's go and try to edit the text. I'm going to go into my double click and change for my journal of the 2023 
I'm going to leave it like that and add a new page. Now here into the add a new page section, what I can do is to just drag and drop all the elements that I want to fill into my actual journal. For example, I have page number one, I have my page number two, and I have more, let's say like a weekly check in, like this and like this and like this. Now, today I am granted four, since we're having a journal, let's say for example for, I don't know, maybe I, I wanted to have like five or 15 pages, I want to add seven, eight, and nine pages. And lastly, what I can do is to go into my grid view in down in here. And as you can see, here are all the pages of my actual journal. So let's say that I want to select all of these elements. And I'm going to choose this option where it says duplicate three pages. So what I can do is to just duplicate pages where I think is going to be uh, just using this over and over again like this and I can just do this over and over again once again. So I'm going to choose these four elements, I'm going to duplicate those and I'm going to move it before after my actual element here. So as you can see now I have 16 sections. If you think this is truly uh, great for you, you just click into the latest one. Let's go for the first option. I'm going to go into duplicate once again and voila, we now have up to 231 steps. I'm going to do exactly the same thing so we can have almost uh, 50. So once you are successfully done with that, I'm going to choose delete the latest page, leave this into blank. And what you want to do lastly is just to make sure that all your pages are actually working. So there you go. So what you want to do now in order to uh, sell this, I want to go into my show section, look out for download. And here to download, what I want to do is to go into the file typed, change this from a PDF standard file and choose include all the pages and hit into download. I can strongly suggest you to don't include the cover page because the cover page is going to be asked to import that as a PNG file or an imaged file. So I want to just select all the pages but the cover art. So I'm going to go in here and select this one, hit into done, download and my PDF standard file is now going to be downloaded. Now it's going to be asking for the manuscript. So what I want to do is to upload my ebook manuscript. So I want to add digital rights to the actual Kindle book. So whether you want to choose the upload a cover you already have or choose the cover creator. So it's going to be helping you to add like the right size of your actual cover. So if I go into the launch cover creator, it's going to be telling me how to use the cover creators go for continue here into the X mark. And what I want to do is to choose a design that's actually like too easy to use. Let's say for example this one. And there we go. So if you think that actually everything looks great, just go into saved and submit. So this one is going to be sending us back into the actual section of KDP. There we go. This is the actual in progress. We have the Kindle ebook preview. So what we wanted to do is to get into launch previewer so you can just choose to take a look into how it's going to be looking at our product from Kindle. I want to go into the territories if you want to sell this worldwide. That's totally up to you. And here into the primary marketplaces, you want to add the options. For example, you want to sell your stuff. And here, what I want to do is just to choose the price where you wanted to sell your product. Like this, your book file size. And this is here, the royalty of how you're going to be earning, how much money you're going to be earning per sale. As you can see, guys, we're now here into the in review. In review. So we just need to wait a few hours till the Amazon accepts our ebook into the Kindle section. But it's more than enough that we have already created a bookshelf and we can now start to actually gain some money with our bookshelves. So with that being said, guys, this is how we can get started by creating some stuff, by creating a journal into Kindle stuff. You can even create a paperback or a hardcover for the same product. But this is for another tutorial. With that being said, guys, we have now reached into the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you don't want to see more amazing toys about this amazing, totally free for Amazon. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, I will see you next time.